Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out another episode of um, how to build a race car wagon. I don't know. Um, so slightly different background today than what I'm uh, what I usually start with. Uh, instead of the background being the wagon, I'm actually inside the wagon um, because I'm hoping to change one view that I would have from this driver's seat significantly, and that is the roof. Um, as you can see, the metal roof is still intact, along with the fiberglass plug that I made for the sunroof. Today's plan, cut all that out um, and lay the carbon roof on top. I'm not going to fix the carbon roof, um, but I'm going to get rid of the metal roof. And I'm just looking around now at the multiple mounting points of the metal skin at the front and uh, trying to figure out where I'm going to cut. This is going to be a fun one. But before I start cutting the metal roof out, I want to get some progress made on the carbon roof, which is outside since it creates an ungodly amount of dust when I do any cutting on it. So the stuff I'm gonna do is clean up here where I was cutting uh, it off the roof where I created a little bit of a lock on the gutters. So I'm just gonna cut this lip down a bit and cleaning up the back edge uh, to where it's actually gonna be a little more flush. Here's another edge that can get cut so it's about where here is. This stuff's coming off. And then just trim it up this front bit so that this lip here comes off and we just have this flat spot. This is the part where it mounts um, on the windshield. So that's what I'm gonna do first. All right, that's the metal roof. Regular old S4 roof, apart from the sunroof is plugged and the antenna hole is plugged. So I'm going to leave about, mm, I don't know, two inches, inch and a half of this top layer of the roof around the whole edge. And the reason I'm doing that is I don't only want the edge of the, uh, the gutter and the back and the front to hold the roof on. I want there to be a top layer um, holding it as well uh, because it's the roof and no one wants their roof to fly off. Um, <clears throat> so next thing, other than cutting out this layer, which should be pretty simple, pretty thin, there's lots of um, cross bracing in here, which I'd like to keep, might as well. I don't see them weighing too much, um, but I'm pretty sure there's adhesive holding the two together. So that's gonna be fun getting out. And I've been waiting till now to get it out because I think the best way is gonna be um, getting a gasket scraper and uh, shoving that between the gap and smacking it with a hammer to break that seal. Um, and I obviously didn't wanna have any dents on the top of this roof um, before I put carbon on there. So that's, uh, that's, Probably what I'm gonna try first. There's also a bunch of mounting uh, points up here. Um, this layer, there's some sealant here, but I think the whole roof skin goes above all of this stuff. This is the structure that held the, the um, sunroof in place. And the sunroof mechanism itself probably weighed 50 pounds, let alone the glass, which weighs probably another 20 pounds. So um, that's why this is pretty heavy duty. So I'll see what that looks like once I get the skin off. Um, I don't see any reason in keeping this stuff. Maybe to have some cross bracing, but um, I think these two back here would be fine. So let's, uh, let's get, get to uh, destroying the roof. All right, so I did some quick measurements on the roof. Um, I was working on getting the supports 
uh, released from the inside, but there's so much tension on them between the roof and themselves um, that I figured it's probably easier to release that tension by cutting the roof first and then, um, then getting the sealant out of the way. So I measured it up real quick, got uh, four inches back here, left some extra room because there's um, there's some extra metal back here to support the hatch. So I don't want to get in the way of that. Um, so I'm starting out with four inches and we'll see what it looks like and then go from there. <clears throat> Did an inch and a half down the side. Um, that's about what I was planning on doing. There's plenty of room on either side of it. Um, so that'll give me a lot of room for uh, the adhesive to bond. And then I did three inches in the front. Um, I think that's more than enough room. And um, these are all just starting points. We'll see what it looks like once I get the, the initial skin cut off. So um, yeah, let's see what it looks like. Here's the back half. Fresh incision. My secret project is I'm actually putting a sunroof in the back of the car, um, you know, for the dogs. All right, we got three quarters of the roof cut out. Just gotta move on to the windshield now. So we've got some movement here. So once I smack out those uh, cross braces, should peel off like a sardine can. All right, that's all four corners are cut. See if I can get it to budge. All right, looks like we're getting some movement. There we go. Definitely gonna have to get the sealant off of those cross braces. Oh, getting closer. All right, so I um, I got the seal off the cross braces here uh, at the back. So um, I think I can uh, peel it up a little bit now. So let's see if we've got some movement. Even. Oh. All right, there's still plenty at the front, but let's see if it's releasing. Sure, this is a totally normal looking site right now. Camera. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to move. This 20 year old adhesive is pretty stubborn. There might be some spots that aren't having ground all the way through as well. So this, this sunroof carrier bracket support is huge. It starts all the way back here and goes all the way up to here. And um, it's connected to the body somewhere in the, by the gutter. So I'm just gonna cut all the way through it and figure out supports for the front uh, later. Should be easy enough to support the front of it since we've got the uh, the main hoop and the halo bar up here anyway. So uh, instead of trying to peel it off this thing, I'm just gonna take this thing out with it. Uh, it's probably pretty heavy too, so um, it was probably gonna come out anyway. So well, let's get rid of it.
All right, I think I've uh, cut and bashed away at the roof enough that it might just come off right now. So um, allow me to welcome you to the first B5 S4 Avant ragtop convertible. How's that? That roof is damn heavy. But I got it off in uh, one piece. It's gonna be some serious weight savings with carbon. Uh, looks like we got plenty of support to hold the carbon on there too. Let's get this off for uh, about the uh, bag. So um, this is the only reason I cut the roof off the car uh, was so that I could paint the top of the main hoop and uh, be able to say I sat on top of the main hoop of the roll cage while I took the car. So um, that roof is pretty heavy. I'm definitely gonna have to weigh it, see what uh, see what the weight savings are. Um, just in the metal skin alone, not even counting. Uh, the mechanism for the sunroof and the glass itself. Um, so it should be some pretty decent weight savings. Um, and uh, so I'm just gonna lay the carbon roof on here to see what it looks like. And uh, that'll be it for this one. without a roof is uh, short-lived. Well, I uh, figured I'd end the video just the reverse of how I started. Um, so we're in the driver's seat and my view has changed considerably. I now have a carbon roof to look at. So no matter what color I decide to do the outside of it, I'm still gonna be able to see the carbon on the inside of it. And that's pretty cool. So, fits like a glove. Um, definitely gonna need to do some supports in the back. Uh, since it's four layers of carbon and it's wet layup, it's still got some flex in it. So in order to avoid any issues with windows down, high speed driving, um, definitely gonna put some supports across here. And, uh, some supports from the main hoop to it. And then in the back as well, where the factory ones are. So thanks for watching this one. I'm not gonna affix it to the car. Fixing it to the car is the same as uh, the back panels are gonna be. It's just some uh, epoxy car uh, adhesive stuff. It's, and that's gonna go on the edge that I left on the roof that I cut. So there's plenty of room for it to stick. Uh, there's gonna be no issues of it blowing off, uh, but I'm not gonna do that now. The car is still a mess. There's no point in affixing anything to it and uh, I might as well leave it off uh, for when the car gets painted. Uh, the guys will just be able to spray from the top down, get every millimeter of the cage painted. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what paint color I should go for the interior, um, I'm thinking white, but I also think that that might be totally blinding. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, but that's it for that. Um, thanks for watching and uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, uh, keep up to date with all the other ones that are coming. Thanks.